Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and install Insanity Shader for Minecraft Java 1.21.4. So let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description, of course. But here, all you need to do is simply search up Modvent. And once you're on the Modvent search page, simply go to modvent.com and click Modvent. Once you're on the home page, simply go to discover content, down to shaders, and here you can look up Insanity Shader, but as it's got popular, you can just scroll down a tiny bit and you'll be right here. So once you found Insanity Shader, simply go to the name, and once you're on the name, simply go to versions. Here, you can see it's only for 1.1.3, but just like resource packs, it works just as well on 1.1.4. So, let's just download Insanity Shader, and now we need something to run it. So, we will be using Iris for this. So, to get Iris, you need to open up a new tab and go on Iris Shaders. And you'll find irisshaders.dev, simply click Iris Shaders, and click download now. Here you'll see download universal jar, simply click here. And you should have Iris and the shader. Now, if you can't run Iris installer, what you have to do is simply go to a new tab and go on Java for Windows. Java for Windows, simply click here. Accept all, and you will have to click here to download Java for Windows and get all of that sorted out. But here with Iris and Sandy Shader, we should be all good. So now we can close our web browser, and we can go to our file explorer. It looks like this. And once you're on the file explorer, simply go to your downloads folder, where you should have Iris and Insanity. If you don't have anything here, it is in a different downloads folder somewhere else. So, simply double click Iris installer and make sure to have 1.1.4. You can have Iris only, or if you want to add mods, you can do Iris plus Fabric. So, just do install and close Iris installer. And now, simply go to the Minecraft launcher. Wait for the Minecraft launcher to load up, it just takes a couple seconds. And okay, once we're here, you see that Iris and Sodium is right here. Simply go to Installations and go to Iris and Sodium for 1.0.4. Just go on the little folder icon and it will bring you to the .minecraft folder. So here, simply go on Shader Packs and go in your downloads folder, copy Insanity Shader, go to the top left to the little arrow, and paste Insanity Shader. So now we have Insanity Shader in our shader packs. Once done, simply go to your Minecraft launcher, and go to play, make sure you have Iris and Sodium right here, and click play. So, once you click play, you will be able to load up Minecraft in a couple seconds and we will be able to activate Insanity Shader because by doing so, it is not automatically enabled even though it's in Minecraft. So, what we need to do is simply open up Minecraft like so and I'll go to a realm, server or single player. I'll just go to a single player world and in a couple seconds, there you go, we should be in Minecraft. But as you see, we don't have any shaders. So to get shaders working, all we need to do is simply go in our Minecraft settings and we want to go to options, video settings. Here we have the sodium layout, but you just want to go to shader packs. You want to click insanity shader. You want to make sure this is like a little dark and just apply. And done, done, escape, escape, and there you go. So now we have Insanity Shader for Minecraft 1.21.4 selected. So as we see, it adds a lot more fog. It makes it way more eerie than normal vanilla Minecraft. 
and going by the logo and what the modland like page says about insanity shader it is indeed what it's meant to do so yeah so that's how we get insanity shader for minecraft so if you like today's video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one bye